guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am here to share a very, very exciting video with you guys. I am launching a new product in Planning to Prosper, and that product is the Planner Sidekick. So before I dive into the product, show you what it's all about, I wanted to give a little bit of a backstory as to how I came up with this idea, what inspired me, all that. So what really inspires me for the products I create is what would I personally like to use. And so when I'm planning, when I'm budgeting, one thing I've noticed that kind of, it's not like a huge annoyance and it's not a huge issue by any means, but I don't like having to like flip back and forth and all of that kind of stuff. So for example, if I want to access a daily page currently, I can click on the day of the month and that daily page will come up same thing for the week, if I am in my weekly view and I click on a day, that day will come up, which is great. Um, I feel like it's very convenient, it's, you know, takes just a couple seconds, but how could I make that even more convenient? And one thing is being able to kind of utilize the split screen feature that the iPads have. So. The split screen feature allows you to pull up another app, another document, whatever, and kind of multitask and be able to look at two things at the same time, which is super helpful. So I wanted a way to kind of look at my day and my week or my day and my month at the same time. I also wanted to kind of take a look at like, okay, this is the time I have blocked off on Friday for like Etsy and so here's my to-do list during that time. I wanted a way to kind of hone in and like look at my day in even more detail. I also wanted to be able to kind of keep track of our family's financial transactions and have my transaction log pulled up in the, sp in the split screen while checking in with our budget on a weekly basis and things like that. So I'm gonna show you how this is all used and go into more detail and everything, but essentially the whole backstory, the whole premise of this new release is really that I wanted to create something that I could envision myself using and that would make planning and budgeting even easier for myself. So I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the planner sidekicks. And again, these are available in the shop now. Stay tuned until the end of this video because with any new release, I always offer, you know, like a special discount code and things like that that are good for the weekend. So yeah, let's take a look at the planner sidekicks. Here they are. So they're gonna come in three different themes, rose gold, gold, and silver. And whenever you purchase the Planner Sidekick, you're gonna get three different files. You're gonna get a file for landscape 12.9 inch, which is the iPad that I'm using now. You'll get a landscape for the 11 inch or the iPad Air, which I will show you on my iPad what that looks like. And then you're also going to receive the portrait mode of the Planner Sidekick. So I'm gonna just dive in real quick. Let's see, let's look at, I was already kind of playing with this one. This is the Sidekick Landscape for the 12.9 inch. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open this in a new window and just push this over and that's going to kind of make the, the Sidekick fit perfectly in this space. So. You are going to get five cover options. Let me go ahead and actually, this is um, a photo I laid on top because I was changing my cover out. But, so you're gonna get five different cover options. You'll get this really pretty, like striped kind of rose gold foil. And again, this comes in silver and gold as well. You're going to get this glittery one, which I personally really like the glitter one. I keep gravitating towards that. You're gonna get these really pretty circles over here. And then you're going to get the, like, this kind of reminds me of a disco ball <laughs> is the best way to explain it. And then you're going to get this kind of leathery looking one. It looks really blurry on camera, but I promise you when it's in front of you, it does not look blurry at all. It's like this kind of leathery, if you guys can tell, like the texture. I feel like it's easier to see when I'm zoomed in close. And when you have the iPad in front of you, it doesn't look blurry at all. It's that, it's that texture. Um, but it looks like it's just blurry on camera for whatever reason. So those are the covers, and what you're gonna wanna do just to kinda navigate through the Sidekick, 
is anytime you tap on this circle here, it's gonna take you to the first page of the Sidekick. Anytime you tap on the title of a page, it's going to close your book for you. And the trick I was showing with the whole changing the cover thing, so what you can do is you can um, export, and I think I need to do that over a little bit, yeah. So you can export that as an image. So you, to export, you want to click on this little box up here with the arrow and do export this page. Make sure images is selected, click export. And then you're just going to save the image to your camera roll. You'll scroll to the very front of the book, which is the stripes page. It'll say, you know, one of 27, I think down there. Yep, you can see that. So scroll to the very front of the book or get to the very front of the book. And then you're gonna use your camera tool to pull in the image and then you're just going to stretch it out and make it fit that cover. And there you go, that's literally it takes seconds. And then that way, when you go to close your sidekick, it's showing the cover that you want. And then same thing, like when you're in your files and stuff, you'll see the cover that you selected. But when you make it stretch over the image, it the, the hyperlinks and everything still work, which is really nice. So. This is the schedule section. Let me go ahead and close my planner real quick so you guys can kind of see the pages in more detail. So this is the time blocking schedule and my whole idea behind this is that you can kind of look at your week, see what is going on for that day um, as far as appointments and things like that or what your work schedule is and you can kind of block out the time. So this little bar is here in the event that you want to just do some time blocking off to the side, like say from five to six, that is when I do my little morning routine. So I'm gonna just push this down here. And then you can use your highlighter tool to like color this in if you want to. And I am admittedly not the best like coloring person on the iPad. I just haven't had a ton of practice, but you get the, the idea. So you can just kinda color all that in. And I can say that I want that to be my morning routine. The hours go from five to 10 at night. So a good portion of the day. I tried to fit as many hours as I could. And I know that looks kind of sloppy, but <laughs> you get the idea. I'm, I'm, it's not looking perfect. Um, and then let's say I want to put like my morning routine in here. Then I could use my highlighter tool and I could put like a little to-do list down there and I could put like, I'm gonna make my bed, I'm gonna wash my face, and I wrote that kind of sloppy, that's okay, but you get the idea. And then when you, you know, are done with something, you can just check it off and all of that. So. That is the idea behind that. The other thing you can do is you can take your highlighter tool and you can create like a shape. So if you highlight this whole edge and you hold down your pen tool, it will snap it into place and then you've got this perfect, um, you know, rectangle where it's like blocked off and stuff like that. So that's another way you could do it if you wanted to. But um, I wanted a way to kind of do time blocking with your schedule for the day. And there isn't a schedule for every single day of the year. My thought behind it was that I would just clear this out. Like I would plan out my day the night before, the morning of, and do that and kind of reference it as the day is going along and then um, kind of clear it out and then fill it in for the next day. But you can duplicate pages. It's super easy to do that. You just go to these four squares up here and say you wanted to have one for every day. It's um, highlighted right there. You click on this little arrow and click duplicate and then there you go. Now you've got another page and you can kind of change the order of it. If you wanted that page to go first, you could do that and there, there you have it. Now you've got two schedules and the hyperlinks will work on either one when you duplicate the page. So there you go. Um, and then the next page I wanna show you guys, and there's all these little icons down here, by the way. So let me just go through real quick. This little check mark is your to-do list. This is gonna be your shopping list. This is your health and fitness tracker. This is your transaction log or your spending tracker. This is a built-in sticker book, yes. 
So convenient to store and organize your favorite digital stickers and make it even easier to kind of pull them into your planner as you're decorating your weekly spread or monthly spread, whatever you're doing, and then a note section. So if I tap on this, this little clock is the schedule, by the way, the page we're on now. If I click on the check mark, that's gonna take me to my to-do list. And this is a pretty long to-do list. You have a lot of spaces, as you can see right there. So that is the to-do list. And I've got a couple things in here. So the whole idea is, again, that you could have your weekly spread um, off to the side and you can kind of create your to-dos based on what you're seeing on your weekly spread and everything. It just makes multitasking so much easier, being able to see everything on one page. And then you've got your shopping cart. So I'm gonna tap on my shopping cart and that's my shopping list. And it's the same thing, it's just shopping list with all the spots for writing in your list. So say you know that you're going to Old Navy today and you're like, okay, I need to make sure I pick up some socks for Julia. I need to get some workout pants. And Maddie needs a new jacket. You can do that. So if you know you're running errands, you know you're going to a bunch of places and you wanna make sure you remember what you need to pick up, you could use this for groceries as well. So if you're like kind of planning out your meals and things like that, you could use this in conjunction with the meal planner if you wanted to, the official meal planner in my shop. So, um, and you can print these pages out, by the way, which is the really cool thing. If you export this file as a PDF and you've got a printer at home, you could print that out really easily. So. That's a really nice feature as well. Or you can take your iPad with you, obviously, and be able to look at it on your iPad. Um, that's kind of why I have this like smaller, more portable iPad Air. And then also you can pull up your digital planner on your phone as well. So that is another option. So I do have GoodNotes on my iPhone and I can look at everything syncs, which is like the most amazing thing. It syncs through the iCloud and so I can access all of this on like all of my devices on my iMac. I love it. I love the portability and like the functionality of it. So now we'll look at the health and fitness tracker. I'm gonna turn my pen tool off. And so here's your health and fitness tracker. So you've got a little spot here to write in the date. And again, you could duplicate this page if you would like to. I will probably just use it on a daily basis and then clear it out. But if you wanted to kind of keep track of that, you could definitely do that if you would like. And then you've got a spot to write in your breakfast, your snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and dessert. Obviously not everyone has their meals like that, but I just wanted to have like a spot for everything. So if you don't snack, you could always write um, none in there. If you wanna like fill in all the spaces, you could definitely do that. So, and then you've got a water tracker here. And I personally like to use, um, like habit trackers and stuff in my weekly spreads. So my thought behind the health and fitness tracker is that I can fill this out throughout the day and then I can kind of update my habit trackers in my weekly view or my monthly view at the end of each day. I just wanted a way to kind of track it throughout the day in more detail and then be able to update my more like all encompassing habit trackers in my monthly and weekly view um, through this. So you can kind of track your water, you can write in what your workout is for today. So I really like tone it up workouts. And then you could write in your steps, like say you've got 9,063, whatever that is. I slept for 6.5 hours. You can write in um, what you are grateful for. I am always grateful for my family. <laughs> so you can kind of just fill that in throughout the day and then reference it as needed when you're kind of updating your like, you know, more encompassing habit trackers, I think is the way I'm trying to say it. And then you've got your spending tracker. So this is a really exciting one. So you have a spot to write in your date, the transaction and the amount. And again, when you tap the title of any page, it will take you to the very front of the book tap on the circle, it will open it. And then you've got these like icons on the bottom here and they will all take you to the pages. So 
Um, I wanted to create this as a way to just kind of go into my bank and write down all of my transactions for the day and kind of keep a running list of them. And then when I do my weekly budget check-in, I can just have this off to the side and be able to look at that and the weekly like check-in page at the same time versus like kind of scrolling back and forth between one or having to go to a different page and all of that. And there's tons and tons of spaces. And then at the bottom here, you have a little section where you can fill in. Um, so I've got household, I've got grocery, let's say I do gas. And so the whole idea is that when you're in here, you can write like today is the 25th and I can do, let's see, I went to Trader Joe's and I spent $121.75. Then you can use your highlighter and do that pink color and you can highlight that. And so you can kind of keep track of your transactions in that way. And then when you do your weekly check-in video, you've got this in a nice convenient spot off to the side, super simple to use. I will be using this moving forward in my budget video. So if you kind of want to see it in action and how I would use it and everything, definitely check out those videos. And then I'll show you guys the notes pages next and then we'll look at the sticker book. So the notes pages is this little pencil down here and you can put in whatever notes. So say you're you know, at the doctor's office, you've got your iPad and you're kind of taking notes and stuff. Um, the doctor's telling you to do medicine every four hours you know, whatever it may be, and you wanna kinda of take your notes and stuff like that, you can do that, or if you have like random ideas, you know, just a general notes page to use for whatever you may want it for. And then one of my favorite things about the Planner Sidekick is it's got this um, built-in sticker book. So if you go to this little book here, that's gonna take you to your stickers page. There are 15 sections in total that you can fill out for the sticker section of the sidekick. So I've got a weather section up here and as you will see when you tap on the little circle next to it, it will take you to that page and it's just a blank big page where you can store all of your stickers. So, um, let's see, let me pull this back up. Open in a new window. And then, so there we've got our stickers there. So this is a weather sticker, so if I wanted to just kind of have this pulled up, then I can copy and paste it. You guys have seen me lasso stickers time and time again into my planner. But the cool thing is, is that all the stickers will show on this one sheet off to the side here. You don't have to kind of like scroll around to see them. If you got all your weather stickers right here, you'll be able to see all the weather stickers and have that super accessible. You can go back to your sticker book and say you've got your like Bitmoji stickers, you have your meal planning stickers, you have some budget stickers, just whatever stickers that you use on a regular basis and you want to save, um, you can and make them like really easy to access because you use them so frequently. That's what you would use the sticker book for. And the cool thing is too, is you can kind of save the size of it. So say I want to save like I fit the sun perfect in a spot like, let's see, let's show you an example. So let's say I put this in my like little daily page here and that's like the perfect spot for it and the perfect size. If you copy and paste this over here, it will save the size for you so that when you copy it and you paste it, it'll be that exact same size. Look, they're the exact same size. So that is really handy when it comes to like bill due stickers or expense tracking stickers or appointment labels, things like that. So if you don't wanna to have to like label or like resize those things over and over again, it doesn't take that long to do in all honesty, but if you wanna save yourself even more time, you can do it that way as well. So, and when you're on the sticker book, if you want to close your sidekick, you can tap on the very top of the page and that will take you to the cover of the sidekick. So. That is the Planner Sidekick, you guys. And again, it comes in rose gold, silver, and gold. And I'll show you guys the, um, I'll do the portrait mode for the silver. And here, let me go ahead and 
open that back up. And so let's do portrait mode and I'll show you portrait mode in the silver. The portrait mode works perfect in both the 12.9 and the 11 inch, so it'll work for both. So I'm gonna open my silver sidekick. I'm gonna open in a new window and it's gonna pop over there perfectly. It's like seriously perfectly sized for that space. And it works the same way. You can kind of go through, close your book by clicking schedule, open it by clicking the circle. You've got your icons down here to go to your sticker book, your notes. Um, and this is just a really big iPad, so <laughs> you can't see everything all at once. But I'll show you guys the 11 inch as well. So that's the silver, um, the silver version of the Sidekick. So again, you get like the glittery one, you get the circles for your covers. You get five cover options for each one. And then there's that like leather type of texture. So it's a silver portrait. And then I will show you guys the 11 inch or the air. It works for both. So let me go ahead and open that up. And then I need to make sure that my pencil is on here. <laughs> okay, let me make sure that that is working. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so say I've got my budget planner pulled up and this is perfect, I'll show you guys the gold. So the gold 11 inch, it'll say in the title of the file if it's the 11 or the 12.9. So this is the 11, so I'm gonna tap on that. And then I'm gonna click open in a new window and you're gonna notice it fits perfect in there when you scroll that over. And so this is kind of what I was talking about with the um, with the transaction log. So I can go to March and I can go to my weekly check-in. And then what I can do is I can just have my weekly check-in pulled up there and then have my spending tracker pulled up here and I can just kind of do that all at the same time. Versus currently, I like kind of scroll over here and then I scroll back here and all that kind of stuff, but you can have your spending tracker right off to the side here. So, um, and then I'll show you guys the covers. So this is the gold version, gold glitter, gold circles. The disco ball is the best way to describe it. And then that like pleather, leather type of material. And then if you want to do portrait mode, you can pull up the portrait planner or the portrait um, sidekick rather. So there's the portrait mode and open in a new window and it's gonna, again, fit just perfectly here. So there's all the cover options again. And again, when you tap on the circle, it'll take you to the first page. And then down here, we can go to our finance page and we can have our spending tracker here. So let's say it's 325 and I go to Costco and I spend $43. And I know that that was my gas for the day. Then I can pick my yellow highlighter and I can highlight that in yellow if I want. Um, so yeah, and then there you go. I picked the really light yellow so you can barely see it. But, um, but yeah, so that is how that works. So you guys, those are the planner sidekicks. I am seriously so so excited about this release. I'm excited to start using the Sidekick. I think it's just gonna be the perfect, and I've you know kind of labeled it this, or this is my like tagline, if you will. It is the perfect companion to any digital planner that you have. You can, um, as long as you can do split screen and everything like that, you can have it pulled off to the side, help you multitask, and I, I've got that in there in the listing as well. You'll see multitask like a pro using the split screen feature. So I really just wanted to kind of come up with a way that I can work more efficiently and plan more efficiently on my iPad. So I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am for this release. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share the discount code with you guys. So we'll go to the notes section 
and the discount code that you guys can use. It will expire on Sunday. What is, let's see, today's the 25th. Hang on, <laughs> let me make sure that I have got this correct. So, Sunday the 28th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time is when this code will expire. So the code that you can use to save, let me go ahead and make this a little bit thicker so you guys can see it clearly. So it is gonna be Sidekick25 and that will save you 25% off everything in my shop and again that will expire on the 28th at 1159 p.m. Pacific time so that is the code that you can use starting now these sidekicks are up in my shop right now I created them in rose gold silver and gold to kind of match whatever coil you have so I always offer my planners like with different coil options so if you want the silver sidekick to match your silver coil or the gold to match your gold coil you don't have to do that I'm a pretty matchy matchy person so that's probably what I'm gonna do <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope that you guys are just as excited as I am for this new release. I am seriously pumped. I'm so excited to start using this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments at all, let me know in the comment section down below and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.